Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm here with Wildflower Meadows, and today we are going to talk about robbing and some very simple steps you can take to prevent robbing from getting started in your apiary. So what is robbing? Well, robbing is when bees turn on other neighboring bee colonies and invade them to steal their honey. During robbing, bees get worked up into a frenzy, killing each other and causing pandemonium in your apiary. The robbing can spread from colony to colony, also possibly spreading diseases along the way. Weak colonies can be overrun and killed, so robbing can be very damaging to the well-being of your bees and your apiary. If you care about your bees, you really want to do everything you possibly can to prevent robbing from happening to your colonies. The beekeepers here at Wildflower Meadows know a few tricks of the trade to prevent robbing, so we're going to let you see them in action. Let's head over to the apiary and watch what they do. A simple block of wood is really all you need. Our beekeepers like to reduce a colony's entrance down to about an inch or two. This is more than enough space and ventilation for even a strong colony, even during the height of summer. This simple step cuts down the area that the colony's guard bees need to defend and makes it easier for any colony, even a weak one, to defend itself. If you see that robbing is starting, you really only want one entrance. So in times of robbing, our beekeepers will close off any alternate entrances that the bees are using. Sometimes, because of the weird size and shape of alternate entrance, we have used vent screening, wax, and yes, even cotton balls. The next layer of protection is what is called a robbing screen. It sounds complicated, but is really nothing more than a little piece of vent screening that the beekeeper places over the reduced entrance. The screen is attached with a simple push pin. The bees in the colony can easily enter and leave by walking around the screen, but the robbers have to deal with the screen before they can charge in and rob. The reason that the robbing screen protects a colony is that the robber bees are really worked up in a serious frenzy and, well, sort of stupid. They always attack in a straight line. This directs them right into the screen where the guard bees can fight them off. But the bees in the defending colony know the way to walk around the screen. It doesn't take the colony long to learn this. The robber bees, however, never seem to get it and fly straight into the screen every time. Look how the guard bees love the screen. They sit on the outside of the screen, acting super brave, and they protect their colony. It is amazing the defensive edge that this little inexpensive protection gives even the weakest colonies. Another trick of the trade is what is called a robbing cloth. This is nothing more than a slightly damp towel that is placed over the colony while the beekeeper works the bees and inspects the frames. This damp towel is amazingly effective in keeping the smell of honey and broken pieces of honeycomb confined to the colony. It is the smell of honey that can quickly incite robbing, so the robbing cloth prevents neighboring bees from discovering that a colony is open and exposed. You know what's really amazing about all these tools? They're all super inexpensive. What are we looking at here? A piece of wood, a tiny piece of vent screen, a push pin, and an old beat up towel. I wouldn't be surprised if this whole setup cost more than a dollar. Okay guys, you have no excuses. Protect your colonies from robbing and you will have happier and healthier bees. Wildflower Meadows is your source for VSH Italian Queen Bees. For more information about Wildflower Meadows, please visit wildflowermeadows.com. I'm Hannah, have fun beekeeping, and we'll see you again soon.